Hey folks, let's talk about some advanced encoding options here. Um, what I've done is I've taken, I shot this little short video and I've included music, a title, uh, some transitions, some cuts, and exported it out with the standard share, um, you know, export movie, and then picked, this was shot in 720p, so I'm going to export it as that. Um, and that's sitting on my desktop. Now, what I also did was download a third-party free encoder. And if you look here in my settings, you'll see it's the X264 encoder. Again, it's free. And I put some a limit on it. Now, the, um, the standard share is actually um, 10,000 kilobytes a second and I push this down to almost one I set my compressor on high uh, multi-pass and if you look here at the options you'll notice you have a lot more things you can do now I haven't I haven't really mucked with this too much on this side and from what I've been told the the main things you need to be concerned about is is these these two top uh, you want to increase these just a little bit um, and these are my current settings as you I'm not gonna tell you what they are you can read them um, and I've saved those off into a preset and you know you just click OK and export just like you were doing on a quick time it's gonna take a little longer but what you'll see is this file is around 9 megs this file it's around 77 um, and it's hard to see here but if you look I'll try to leave it here for a second so you can see the bark um, this looks pretty rich the other thing you'll notice is over here this looks a lot greener to me as compared if you look at the bark here or you know the greenness and and um, contrast in the grass here and we can play these whoops Daisy and see that it, it looks it, to me it looks as good or better so you'll see there is ways to export HD into a smaller file and still have it look pretty good uh, this is 720p. I just got these um, shrunk down from their their regular size to, to half, so I can get so I can compare them using QuickTime here. And basically, with QuickTime Player, you can you know um, play up play up. You can bring up as many movies as your computer will support, and you can play them all at the same time. So if you're looking to get the best in code, you'll make a one minute video with titles transitions, cuts, different footage, movement, and then export those out multiple times and get your encoding exactly how you want it. I say one minute because let's say I did a 10 minute project. I don't want to wait, you know, that long for the encoding to happen every time. If I make a one minute project and it's, you know, 10 megs, I know that a 10 minute project would be 100 megs. So that's that's the reason for the one minute. As always, thanks for watching.